Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I'm your host, Rabina Rastavan, a.k.a. The Realist Astrologer. And today I am doing a video on DMX's natal chart and numerology. This is in the wake of the recent news concerning him. Uh, basically, he's being charged with tax evasion. So I'm going to read an article from money.cnn.com. It starts off by saying, even hip-hop moguls have to pay taxes. Rapper DMX came face-to-face -face with that reality on Thursday when he was arrested and charged with tax fraud. Federal prosecutors in New York say he concocted a multi-year scheme to hide millions in income from the IRS and skirt $1.7 million in existing tax liabilities. While raking in millions from his songs, including his 2003 hit, X Gonna Give It To You, DMX didn't give any of it to the IRS, acting U.S. Attorney June H. Kim said in a statement. DMX, whose given name is Earl Simmons, appeared before a judge Friday and pleaded not guilty to these charges. He was released on $500,000 bond. Simmons' lawyer Murray Richmond said Monday that the case is adjourned until August 1st. Feds have charged Simmons on 14 counts related to tax evasion. They say he didn't pay $1.7 million in taxes incurred between 2002 and 2005, and that he didn't file personal income tax returns between 2010 and 2015, despite earning more than $2.3 million. Simmons avoided taxes by issuing personal bank accounts, creating bank accounts in other names, and covering his expenses with cash, Kim said. According to the indictment, Simmons also refused to continue taping the VH1 television show Celebrity Couple Therapy until he was reissued a check that didn't withhold taxes. He was paid $125,000 for filming the show in 2011 and 2012. DMX 46 has topped charts with albums like 1998's It's Dark and Hell is Hot and 1999's And Then There Was X. So DMX is in hot water right now concerning this tax evasion uh, charges. So I'm just going to get into his natal chart and numerology just to explain why he's uh, ended up in hot water like this. So starting off, he was born December 18, 1970. So that makes him an 18 in terms of his birth number. And 18 is a very challenging number because it denotes spiritual material conflict. So often a person has a hard time reconciling their spirituality with their material concerns. And oftentimes the person uh, can be very aggressive, can be very self-absorbed, may even display narcissistic personality disorder traits, and um, may just be basically like a loose cannon type of individual. This is a person that is prone to acts of violence, and also they could be hypersexual, and basically not want to uh, play according to the rules, especially since he's a Sagittarius. So when I looked at his chart, I see a number of factors that point to the tax situation. Number one, um, his Venus is in Scorpio and it's opposing Saturn and Taurus. That right there is the issue with the tax evasion. And with that opposition, there's a good chance that um, those charges will stick and he'll have to do some time. And then um, also he has his son in square to Pluto. That's another aspect that can deal with being heavily in debt or indebted to someone. So in his case, it's the IRS. So he has a pretty bad uh, concerning the issue with uh, money owed to others. And he has a stellium in Scorpio. So that includes his Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. So anyone with a stellium in Scorpio, you always need to stay on top of your taxes because there's a good chance you'll get audited. And also, you need to always make sure that you're paying back your debts because that can really be your downfall. So this is exactly what's happening with DMX. Now... So his birth number is unfortunate, but so is his life path number. His life path number is 29, and that is one of the most unfortunate uh, numbers to deal with. 29 carries heavy karma, and often there's a conflict with respect to home, family, women, mothers, um, etc. So anything dealing with family, motherhood, women, children, that all ties into the challenges with 29. And his Pluto is at the 29th degree of Virgo. So that uh, adds to that 29 energy. And then um, the 29 life path also speaks of his troubles with his mother. He grew up under a very abusive mother. And um, basically, uh, she was rather neglectful. And she even sent him to live in a reform school at a certain um, 
at a certain age. I cut my finger the other day. That's why you see the Band-Aid. But uh, I meant to take it off for the video, so I'm just noticing it now. But, yeah. But, um, anyway, so with that 29 life path energy he's working with, that's uh, basically he's carrying a lot of karma, and it ties into the issues he has with home, family, his own mother. And he also has his moon in square to Neptune, and that can point to issues uh, of abandonment and also uh, neglect in his early childhood. But also in his adult life, that can easily uh, point to issues with addiction. And he started taking drugs at a rather early age. He said he started off where one of his friends put crack into a blunt that he just thought was weed. And basically he was hooked after that. So he's been addicted to crack. He's been addicted to alcohol. So that moon square Neptune says it all in terms of addiction. But that also puts him at risk for doing um, prison time. He's already served time in jail in Arizona, but now that he's facing, um, I believe he's facing 44 years for tax evasion. So when his moon is squared to Neptune, there's a good chance that he actually will have to do some time as a result of the tax evasion charges. And again, like I said, his Venus is opposing Saturn, Venus and Scorpio. That deals with money that you owe to others, including the IRS. And then Saturn's and Taurus, Taurus deals with money. And Saturn could deal with um, obligations or responsibility. Now, with that opposition, to me, it's very clear that he purposely did not file taxes. He purposely tried to evade taxes. And with him being a Sagittarius with Sun Square Pluto, he's a person that may not always follow the law. And as we know with his track record, that's definitely true. So that can um, also include the situation with taxes. Uh, DMX also has Mercury square Uranus. That is a situation where he's very volatile. He can change at the drop of a hat. He's unstable. That points to a, an unstable mind. So his mind is really troubled a lot of times. And I, you can see that because he's very candid about the things that he goes through. And the fact that he's always praying and, you know, invoking God and all that stuff, that points to him being a Sagittarius. Because Sagittarius is the sign of religion. So um, one of the strengths he has is he has Mercury and trying to Saturn. So that makes him good with communication. So that points to his rapping ability and his writing ability. So that's one of the things that helps him out. And then he also has Venus and sextal to uh, Mercury as well. So that lends uh, to his artistry in terms of rapping. And um, he wasn't that bad of an actor either. I think he did uh, pretty well in uh, Belly. Basically, it was almost like he was playing himself, but I think he did a pretty good job with that. But uh, basically, the bottom line is ZMX came into this world being dealt a bad hand of cards. And that is evident with uh, his birth number of 18, his life path number of 29, uh, with moon square Neptune, sun square Pluto. Basically, this is somebody that, you know, even if they try to walk the straight and narrow, they're always going to be tempted to do wrong. And even if they do the right thing, depending upon the people that they associate with, they can still end up uh, falling flat on their face because of that sun square Pluto. So DMX is really in a troubled state, and he's been like this all of his life. Now, his south node is in Leo, and Leo deals with fame. It deals with popularity. It deals with stardom, um, being a performer. However, the South Node deals with those traits that you need to try to reduce in this lifetime. So what I'm getting from his South Node being in Leo is that the life of fame really um, did more harm than it did good for him. Um, basically, he was supposed to be more of an activist, more of a humanitarian, but he chose the South Node and Leo route. And that explains why he easily got caught up while he was in the music industry and while, you know, he's in such bad shape now. Basically, he's living through his ego when he shouldn't be uh, living through the ego. He should be more rational in this lifetime. He's supposed to be more intellectual and take more like a scientific approach to life. But uh, he may never get the chance to live through that North Node and Aquarius due to all the factors that I see in his chart. It's actually quite sad. Um, so he's just somebody that is just naturally prone to addiction, naturally prone to anger management issues with his Sagittarius son and square to Pluto, naturally prone to try to buck the system. 
um, and try to get away with uh, not doing things according to the law or according to uh, the standards of society. So that's basically it on uh, DMX. So again, I won't be surprised if he does actually have to serve time for the tax evasion because of what I see in his chart and also his birth number and life path number. Now, um, I'm part of the Cosmic Council, and we are a team of astrologers, and we are putting on webinars and workshops, and our next webinar is going to be on planetary transits. So if you like to track your own planetary transits, but you have a hard time deciphering what the planets are doing to your chart, you uh, may want to consider signing up for this workshop. Um, it will be a, a really good investment. It's worth the uh, small little investment. So uh, I'm going to leave the link in the description. So uh, definitely check into that if you're interested in uh, gaining more understanding about planetary transits. And also, I just have to say again, I created a astrology group called Real Talk Astrology. And that's for anybody that has a love or interest in astrology. So uh, a lot of people have signed up already. If you signed up or joined, thank you very much. If you haven't and you have a love for astrology, I'm going to leave the link in the description um, section as well. And if you would like a reading, uh, just go to my website at rabina.com and click order a reading. And you can uh, just select from the list of readings that I offer. And then I provide a free numerology reading on my um, homepage as well. So stay tuned for my next video. Peace, many blessings.